ball? Am I stupid? That's a bowling ball, not a magic ball. <laughs> this is actually really funny. I actually, I kind of want to steal this joke and make like a, a, an Instagram video out of it or a TikTok. That's actually very funny. What's happening, guys? Welcome back to Top 10 Central Vibe. It's your boy Pepper. You guys know I'm the spiciest host in the game, so I want some fire to rain down on me from the heavens like the spicy god I am. Make sure you guys smash that like button. We got a fun one for you here today. These are funny times that people miss the joke. Whoosh fails. Whoosh fails. On Reddit, if you know whoosh fails, it's like whoosh, there it is. But instead, it's whoosh, there's the fail. That might be a copyright issue, so maybe you can't include that because, you know, YouTube's kind of a pain in the ass. But guess what, guys? We're getting right into it. Am I the first human to be colorblind and solve a 4x4 Rubik's Cube? But you didn't solve it. <laughs> oh my god, what is that, a dog toy? It looks like a dog toy. But yeah, you can't, you can't move those bad boys, homie. Or maybe you can. Irrelevant. <laughs> it's not solved. <laughs> Clearly colorblind. So sad watching people eat alone. I, the second I saw the camouflage and I saw sad watch people, I was like, oh, that's the joke. And then of course you have the comment, bruh, he's not alone. They're just wearing camouflage. It's like, dude, it's like when, when, uh, when John Cena won the belt in, like when I used to watch wrestling and he would come out and they'd always play his music and nobody would ever show up. Every single time he would fight, he just wouldn't show up. I don't understand. They just play his music and then no one would come out. And then they would have the other wrestler come out and then the guy would just fight nobody. That was a you can't see me joke because John Cena's whole thing was you can't see me so I can never see him. That was the joke. Y'all gotta go visit New York. I promise you won't regret the view. It's literally just a bunch of old radiators. <laughs> no, that's New York. <laughs> the funny part is I don't know who's serious. I don't know if the person that said that's literally, I don't know if they thought that this was a joke. I don't know if the person that said no, this New York literally thinks this is what New York looks like because if you look at it, it kind of does look like New York a little bit. I would believe it from like a far enough angle. Frame that. I would frame that picture and just tell people it's old New York from like the 70s or 60s or 1800s. <laughs> Got sad news today. After seven years of medical training, my good friend has been struck off after one minor indiscretion. He slept with one of his patients and now can no longer work in the job he loves. What a waste of time, training, and money. A genuinely nice guy and a brilliant vet. Sleeping with a patient is not a minor indiscretion. Glad he's gone after taking advantage of a vulnerable person. Me saying this with 25 years work in the medical field. So at first I was like, this is very serious. And then I realized, the yeah, end obviously a genuinely nice guy and a brilliant vet. Obviously this man was getting busy. He was having a good time with, you know, all sorts of animals, dogs, cats. Sheep, maybe? I don't know, people have pet sheeps, pigs, maybe? I don't know, I guess people have pet, maybe parrots, pet parrots. If you take a pet parrot to their vet, I guess, uh, I don't know. It's like an animal doctor, so I guess, right? Guinea pigs? Rabbits? Hamsters? Gerbils, for sure, we all know gerbils, but. <sighs> it's just, this is what you got, this is what you gotta realize, though. A lot of the times I say jokes, and it just goes right, people take me seriously, it goes right over their heads. You gotta realize on the internet is you're gonna get all walks of life. You're gonna get people that, that understand your jokes, those that don't understand your jokes, people that find it funny, people that don't find it funny, and then people that just don't care. And you gotta see where you fall in that category. I'm all over the place. I'm a mess. I fall into every category just because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a big old mess. But guess what? That's what makes me so spicy, baby. That you never know what I'm gonna do. Guess what? Am I gonna give you guys a kiss right now? Bet you guys weren't expecting that. Only YouTuber in the game to give you guys a kiss fucking rights, baby. That's all for this one, guys. I've been your boy, Pepper. Stay spicy, my friends. Make sure you just sprinkle a little bit of pepper. You don't have to do it on your tongue. You can just, you can do it if you want. I'm gonna do it. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys, I'll see you soon. Love you lots. Mwah, bye.